Hello guys, and back into the thick of it straight away and out on the rabbit with George. I've, the only trouble is, I've dropped off my Alpex and Stella, so we're using a different scope tonight. Quick test with the Zulus, 60 yards. Ready for that one. Go for the crow. Mixed up bag of bullets. Last one. Last two subsonics. Challenge, see if I can get that on there. It's about the size of a 5p coin. How about that? That'll do for me, Tommy. My rifle's all set up 60 yards. We're in a field where the rabbits have never been shot Zoom. at. This is going to be a doddle. Now there's the kit I'm using, it's the uncle at the Arkham Zulu, so I've changed their name now to DNT, but this is the Zulu, it's the LRF model with the built-in illuminator, which to be honest is absolutely brilliant and more than adequate for this sort of stuff. Look at that for a picture quality, widescreen, nice and bright, that's just exactly what you want. What are you going for? The little one or the big one? Oh, come on, right at the back. That's the, the one you're pinging. Get the furthest one away and then come in closer. They won't hear that one being shot behind them. Oh, and the left one. Is that one on the left laying down? Mm -hmm. This is Mr. Invincible. Luckiest rabbit alive. And now? Sent the part in. Yeah, you can shake your head. And Lucky again. Nora. Give it one more. Got yes. it. That's <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, for you. I've got all of that on film. Right, I'm going to be pinging these with the LRF. You won't be able to see the figure that comes up in the centre of the top screen, but I can see it. I would recommend people have a look at Jim Wood's latest video. He's demonstrating a new thermal scope by Guide Sense Smart. It's an LRF. And the LRF on that, the box, is right in the centre of the reticle where you need it. And as items are moving either in or out, that, that information is changing on the go. Just what you want for an LRF. There's no guesswork. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic piece of kit. So have a look at Jim Wood's video. That's a mag empty, I think. Well, that's all of the ones we saw on the sports field. We're going to go across over the hedge now. We've got permission on this. This is one of the brothers farms, uh, a good mate of George's. So again, we're still driving around with absolutely no lights on whatsoever in the car. They are playing hard to get. Mm. Got it? Yeah. What are you thinking? What's that bright light? The nice thing with this Arc and Zulu is you can change the colour of that reticle just by pressing a button. We'll see, I'll do that in a minute. You don't have to go into a menu to do this, you just press the back button, there you go. It's, it's a remarkable piece of kit for the money, um, a good starter scope, day, night, uh, widescreen, HD. Nice sun is that one at? Got its own built-in IR and this is the LRF version. I'll put the details at the end of this video, there's two versions now, there's the ARC and this one and the new D DNT version. Brilliant. Both available from Optics Zoom Warehouse. Right in front of you, right down here. That's my wing mirror. Mm. 
No, on it. Sorry. One on the left. <laughs> I think he's going in the hedge now. No, he's down. No, there's one out right out there. We have to get to that. No, far that is. Let's have a look. That is 66 yards. So that was Jim Wood's scope. Whatever he's pointing at, that will be giving you a reading on that scope. Uh, and it's continuous as well. So if it's something running into you or something running away, that figure of the distance is changing all the time. It's a great idea. Bosch did. Yeah, sure. Another nice feature on this Zulu scope is that that time and date is well down in the bottom out of the way. Uh, obviously clearly visible. It's not in the centre of the screen or down the side of the screen. I'm just looking at where those bales were because we've seen a couple of foxes running around. So there's a wide-eyed rabbit here, look. There's two there. His lucky mate. How about that for a crystal clear image? I'll tell you what, these things take some beating. So 60, 70 yards these rabbits are. You quite easily shoot at something 100 yards with that light, which comes with the torch. It is zoomable, focusable. So, you know, this is just, I've just left this as it is. I've not fiddled around with the light whatsoever. Then the brightness, it's on auto setting. So put your scope into standby, switch it back on, and it comes back on, also setting, straight there to shoot. It's a piece of cake. Buttons are a little bit fiddly. The, the zoom focus, um, the zoom control is a little bit fiddly for my liking. Um, but once you've got used to where it is on that scope, uh, you can get around that, no problem at all. 70 yards. 70. So I can see that it's written in the top of the screen. It doesn't unfortunately play back for the viewer. So that's something we should speak to um, D DNT now and ask him if that's a feature that they could put on the bottom of that screen. All right, how far is that? 61. Yeah, spot on. So George is scanning that with my Griffin. So he said 61. I've done it with the scope and they both agreed. So again, that's, that's a bit good bit of quality for you. you. You're putting up against a very expensive hike product against a scope, which is under 600 pounds. Perfect for rats, rabbits. I'd say you can do foxing with it as well. Daytime squirrels. I'm going to be using it for squirrels. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. That's all right. Come to join it. George is rolling his own. I think he's using stinging apples tonight. I think that's going to go click. I didn't hear it. Yeah, run out of bullets now. What's the only thing with a lift go? I can only get a five round magazine for it. Oh, <laughs> there. Isn't really a problem because at least it sits flush in the bottom of the rifle. We're not going to knock it. Is it still there? Yep, and moved. Oh, damn. There's a bit of interference coming up now on the next couple of clips from an American radio station. Uh, they are known to affect the key fobs on cars and stop the cars from locking and unlocking i'm just getting hissing and crackling on the audio and i will get rid of that in a just moment three feet to the right closer at least we haven't got american gis running across Pardon? the field with m16s well not yet anyway oh yeah God, he's a crafty little bummer isn't he that's going to be the last one it's just They got bored now and they stopped doing whatever they were doing. So that one is 
59 yards. Thirty-two on. No, I'm looking at a different one to you then. Hang on. This one's fifty-nine. There's lots of choices of reticles on this Zulu scope. This is just one I like. Okay, so down, come down and left a bit. Yeah, All right, and he's just ducked that one. Down and left a bit. That's got him. Now right. come left. Oh yeah, oh man, it's close. Empty. Yeah, I've got the one behind it. Oh, brilliant shots. Well, that's the place where you can get these scopes from. I'm just going to put a picture now of the two variants. There's the Arkham, which I've got, and then the latest one is the DNT. Both do the same thing. There will be a video coming out soon with the thermal version as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.